here at Mometic. Thought I would take a quick opportunity to show you some of the latest features we've added, uh, particularly Momo squeeze and short ratio. Uh, last week, as you guys may have seen in our blog, we released short ratio and we think it's a very valuable uh, addition to uh, the discovery um, panel here and think it's going to give you guys additional insight to be able to uncover those uh, short squeezes that you guys have been looking for. Um, as you can see, it's, it's incorporated into the discovery as another column. And like all the other capabilities within in the uh, columns, you could sort on it uh, via just clicking on it up or down. And it, it, it's, it's, this is currently the only area that it's located in, and it's only available in Momo Pro Plus. So if you only have Momo Pro or our standard version of Momo, you're not going to get this capability. So for those of you who don't know, short ratio is also known as days to cover. And it is a, as it suggests, the ratio of number of shares short to the average uh, daily traded volume. So this is actually suggested, uh, this GLBLU here is suggested that given the current volume, it's, it's 6.5 thousand days to uh, cover. Uh, that's arguably not really valuable, but this is like an extraneous low volume uh, issue. I've added a, a short squeeze filter for uh, uh, as an example so we could take a better look at things that are more meaningful and have that uh, selected here. I'll go through the, some of the features that we've used and uh, think it's uh, pretty relevant and it's actually uh, been very insightful for us over the past month or so while we've been testing it. It's, it's doing a lot of what we've been hoping for and then some actually. Uh, the thing that's uh, really what we want to incorporate with it is uh, squeeze and short ratio in a way that's bringing a unique uh, technical analysis coupled with some uh, basic fundamentals in terms of uh, short um, bias uh, to help us be able to uncover those trades that are about to break up in earnest. And uh, so let, let's get into it. Uh, <clears throat> so as you can see here, uh, I, I've got the short squeeze filter enabled, and you can see that I've, you know, here's the results. We've got, uh, looks like maybe 75 or 100 uh, based off of this, uh, you know, filter. We sort on uh, the last price to see a percent gain, and arguably here you're seeing those ones that are breaking out in the most meaningful way uh, in, in per, based off percentage gains. Um, now, the thing that's most interesting is how we derive this data, and that's based off of the actual uh, incorporation of looking at these various uh, tables and, and the attributes of those in the filters. And so, as you can see here, it's we've got five different uh, conditions that we've incorporated in or, in order to provide what we think is the most or a, a good starting point, we should say, for uncovering short squeeze breaks that are. are you know, gaining traction and while not being um, too early, not being too late to the game either. Uh, so we've got squeeze set to pre of seven and then also as, as well as now. And for those of you that don't remember, we could squeeze can be conjoined either on the pre or post side of things. And um, you can, but you cannot have all three of them uh, enabled as that kind of nullifies the actual value of the condition. Uh, for those that you do, uh, this is heavily based off of TTM squeeze. And so what we're trying, which saying here is that uh, at any point in time that a stock meets the condition of being in a consolidation for seven periods or more and is potentially breaking out of the TTM squeeze uh, consolidation pattern, uh, enable the, that uh, stock to be listed. Uh, additionally, with a short ratio of, well, I guess I haven't saved it, but um, I've been messing around with it. I had a, a short ratio of five here uh, as, as a good indication to kind of start uh, uncovering stocks that are, are probably getting a little antsy in terms of having a, a short breakout where people are starting to consider closing their uh, short positions. A float of 40 million shares 
and a, a price change of 1.3% with unusual volume of 25% here. Uh, and, and what this is trying to do is trying to find those stocks that have limited shares outstanding, starting to bubble up in a, in a, in a you know, meaningful way, trying to get rid of some of maybe the churn or, uh, you know, the, the, the slow movers and, um, you know, also meet our other criteria in terms of technical analysis and, and short fund, uh, short positions. So, um, <clears throat> With that, the results we got, you know, the thing that made me say, well, let's put together a video or a uh, screen view here is we saw GTLS bubbling up. And I actually had no idea. I'm, I'm a, a personally invested in this and a big believer in the, the notion for a swing position and saw that it actually is breaking out of a squeeze position, has unusual volume and... Um, has a rather sizable uh, short position against it in terms of uh, days to cover. And so that was about all I wanted to cover on the um, short ratio functionality. And as, as you guys uh, know who, who are using uh, Momo's Pro, Momo Pro Plus, we also have the ability to set this up in our uh, conditions and we could add this as a conditional filter to where we'll actually get an alert. So I haven't actually done that, but I could kind of show you guys real quick. Similarly, we could add um, short ratio with it within our alerts. And now as I do this, we will get updated alerts meeting the criteria with uh, short ratio as another parameter. So uh, it's going to take a while and it doesn't necessarily just magically pop up a, a short ratio alert with, with that squeeze criteria, but I uh, just wanted to kind of give you a view into that as well. Um, if, if you're curious about this, these settings here, uh, you know, take a screenshot of this or actually you could visit our blog at blog.momedic.com and look for the uh article called Momo Squeeze and Short Ratio Deliver a One-of-A-Kind Squeeze can, Scan. So that's it. Uh, hope to have a few more updates in the next couple of weeks. Hope everyone enjoys this and please give me your, your feedback. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. Talk soon.